So the Indian palm leaves are predictions for our individual life stories that were written many thousands of years ago by a group of sages in India called the Rishis. These predictions contain a summary of our life from the moment that we come to find them, which was already predicted until the end of our life. The Rishis are a group of sages that are sometimes also called the Mahasiddhas. Maha means great, Siddhas means paranormal power. So they were yogis with great paranormal powers, which are not comparable with today's human beings. Their level of consciousness was much more developed, and they had the ability to perceive time from a higher perspective. They could basically perceive all the past, present and future simultaneously. And out of their great compassion, they perceived the lives of individual of a few million individual people and wrote them down on palm leaves, which was used at that time like paper today. These palm leaves are stored in temple libraries in India, which for many millennia were preserving these leaves, knowing that one day the people for whom they were written would come to search for them, to hear the predictions for their lives and to find guidance and direction for their life. So the process of finding our individual palm leaves, which has our own name and the names of our parents written in it, is as mystical <laughs> as the entire world of palm leaves as well. It starts with your thumbprint, the right thumbprint for man and the left thumbprint for woman. So all the information the library receives to start the search for your leaf is your thumbprint, your gender and your country of birth. While every thumbprint is unique, there actually are certain thumbprint patterns which when combined with each other can be used as identification uh, information to, to find bundles of leaves, groups of leaves that all fit to that thumbprint pattern. So someone will go into the library and pick bundles of leaves that fit to your specific thumbprint pattern. Then once these bundles of leaves are found, the matching process will start, in which we will have a Zoom call with you as the seeker the palm leaf reader who reads the ancient Tamil in which the palm leaves are written and the translator who translates that into modern English. And you will also be accompanied by a moderator from my palm leaf, from us. So in that Zoom call, we will go through that bundle of leaves and read different statements from that leaf, like you're married or you have five brothers or your parents are alive. And you answer these questions with yes, no, or I don't know. When you answer with yes, he will move to the next question. If you say no, he will move to the next leaf. Until at some point, and you will actually feel that moment, it's a very magical moment, there will be a leaf in which all questions are answered with yes, including when you were born, including your name, including the names of your parents, if you have the names of your children or of your partner, and it will be very clear like this is your personal leaf. And it's a very touching moment when you can feel that this was written for you many thousands of years before you were even born. So once your leaf is identified, once it was found out this is your personal leaf, it has your name on it, your date of birth, and it's very clear that this is you, there will be the reading of the general chapter. In the general chapter, it contains a summary of your life from the moment of the reading until the end of your life. The summary takes between an hour and a half up to two hours nearly. And besides summarizing your entire life, sometimes it also contains old karma. Like it might also speak about your past life if this has a very important karmic impact on your current life. And then it will end with recommendations, the so-called remedies, which is very important. The Rishis gave you very specific recommendations on how you can work with your karma, how you can transform your karma and therefore to realign your life's path and to have a much smoother, more fulfilling life experience as well. So the remedies are probably the most important aspect of the palm leaf readings. Their recommendations given to us by the rishis, the authors of the palm leaves, on how to transform our karma and how to clean our karma in order to improve our life experience and overcome blockages that we might experience repeatedly in many different areas of our life. So the remedies can come in many different forms. For example, in the form of very simple actions, like doing social service, spiritual services, also in the form of pilgrimages, 
and especially also in the form of spiritual practices like specific prayers or pujas, which are ceremonies that we can perform ourselves, or more complex ceremonies that can be performed for us in temples in India as well. Most of them work with our energetic body. Karma is a very complex process that's basically happening every single moment of our life. In every single moment of our life, we're either creating karma and at the same time we're experiencing the result of our karma. And the remedies help us to transform and clean those imprints that had the most negative impact in our lives so far. So after the palm leaf reading, we recommend you to take some time and just integrate the experience. Because you not only receive a lot of information, but it's also a deep spiritual energetic process and you really need to digest and integrate all the energy in your system as well. On a practical level, you're going to receive from us an email with a link to the recording so you can watch the reading as many times as you wish. And you also receive a photo of your own individual palm leaf. You're also going to receive from us a document that summarizes all the remedies, the recommendations to you given by the Rishis on how to clean and transform your karma, in which we will also explain of how you can actually perform these rituals and prayers. After the reading, you also have the possibility to search for more chapters that go into different aspects of your life in more detail. In total, there are 14 chapters available for each person that has their palm leaf. And in the first reading, you receive the reading of the general chapter, which is also by far the longest chapter. It's a summary of your life. And also, you also receive the reading of chapter 13, Old Karma, and chapter 14, which is the remedies. Apart from that, there are other chapters that go into details about different aspects of your life, like for example, relationships, career, health, your mother, your father, your siblings. And you can search for all of these chapters individually. We recommend to take a few days after the first reading to integrate information first and then to see which chapters are calling you. And we can make an appointment for each chapter individually as well.